air. On the link with air, air just comes down to simply this. The quality of how you breathe and the quality of air you breathe. Okay, so the quality of how you breathe and the quality of air you're breathing. It's really that simple. And a lot of people don't breathe fully and they're not even aware of their breath. Most of the time when patients come to me and they're in pain, it's the first thing I check is how they're breathing. And most of the time they are breathing dysfunctionally. So people have probably heard this before, but yes, when people breathe very short and shallow from their neck and chest area and none of this is moving, it's a very small amount of lung capacity they're using. I don't think people realize you, your body can remove up to about two thirds, maybe 60% of toxins through breathing. All right, so this is like a very underutilized system of detox. I was out cranking herbs and doing cleanses and it's like, okay, breathe, breathe. Use, use the detox organs that we were given. There's a reason they're as big as they are. The quality of the air you breathe is simple. Don't pollute the air you're breathing. All right, it's, it's amazing to me all these plug-in things that spit out fluid and cardboard pine trees that smell bad. And those are not air fresheners. Those are air polluters. Okay, there's only one thing that freshens the air. Fresh air. If you're looking for air filters, technology can help, sure, but there are things called plants that are very good air filters. They're quiet, they're environmentally friendly, <laughs> they don't cost a lot to maintain and own, so bring some of them in your house. There are certain things like spider plants and philodendrons that do an amazing job at clearing air out. And there's been, there's been research, and if you just Google that, the best houseplants for cleaning air, you'll come up with a bunch of articles on that. So definitely, don't pollute the air you're trying to breathe, and just, just learn to breathe slow and deep as you breathe in, that your, especially through your lower rib cage, it expands. And as you breathe out, it goes back down. I have a, a simple exercise I have people do, especially when they're just out and about. I just have them stand like this, because it doesn't look that obvious. It just looks like they're standing. But they stand with their hands on the rib cage, and they push down and in a little bit. And then they just breathe into their hands. And your hands should get pushed apart.